Today, I'm visiting the Hungarian town of Sopron. They consider this to be the wine region of Hungary, and we're gonna find out exactly how good that wine is. Let's go. Yes, this is wine country, all right. But the fact is, it is only one of the over 20 wine regions you will find throughout Hungary. And these fine beverages are without a doubt some of the best I've ever tasted. We'll come back to that, but I think we need to start things off with a little of the history that gave rise to such an interesting town. However, my first objective is to convert a bit of cash over to the Hungarian forint. Yeah, despite being a part of the EU, they use their own money here, which I admit did get a bit confusing. Now, let's move on to that history. The foundations of this city go way back. I'm talking about all the way back to Roman times. Here at the Forum, you can venture down below to have a look at part of the original infrastructure on which this place was founded, as well as obtaining an education on the archaeology of the area too. Now if you think all that is cool, just wait till you hear the rest of the story. At some point this ancient settlement had become abandoned as people had begun migrating elsewhere. By the 9th century, the Kingdom of Hungary was expanding its reaches and took the opportunity to fortify these already standing walls. And it's a good thing they did, because by the late 16th century, the Ottoman Turks were making their move throughout the land. Due to its impressive fortifications, the city grew and became an important refuge during this time of conflict. Though the city was never taken by war, it would fall victim to fire, once in the 1300s and again in 1676. It was these devastating events that would cause it to be rebuilt using a combination of the medieval and Baroque styles of architecture that you can still enjoy today, like seen here in this view of St. George's Church. This picturesque square features an interesting centerpiece, the Fountain of Mary, and it is surrounded by a few other points of interest as well including an arcade-style building from the 1500s, which is now used for exhibitions. Across from it, we have the Orsolia Convent. Founded in 1746, this neo-Gothic church of the Immaculate Conception began with nuns of the Ursuline Order, who traveled here from the neighboring city of Giur. Their mission was to set up a school with the task of educating the young girls of the area. Here in the main square of Sopron is the Holy Trinity Column. In the background you can see the fire tower. And guess what? We're going to climb up that thing in just a bit to get a view of our surroundings. But first, we're going to stroll on through this magnificent plaza and take this opportunity to search for a bite to eat. And yes, have a glass of that Hungarian wine. This was a very flavorful pork dish. The process seemed to be reasonable, although the new currency was a bit confusing to me. I just hope my tip was appropriate. Now that we've eaten, we'll continue to look around and let our food settle as we prepare to head on up that fire tower. The lower levels of this attraction act as a museum, showcasing more of that ancient Roman stonework. After taking in some more of that interesting history, we now begin our ascent up a series of stairs. And I really hope you're not afraid of heights for this one. On the way up, we encounter even more of the area's history and a few examples of, well, the way things were back in the day. Now that we are finally arriving up top, it is time to check out the view. This city is absolutely gorgeous from every angle imaginable. On your way down, I recommend stopping at the Museum Cafe for another taste of that Hungarian wine and to rest up a bit so that we can continue along this journey. As we find ourselves approaching the outer ring of the Old Town, we now have a view of Maria's Column, which marks the former spot of the Church of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Now let's venture outside of the Old Town for just a bit and see what else we can find. With its Gothic-styled exterior, this is the Church of the Holy Spirit. And while passing by, I couldn't help but take a peek inside at its impressive Baroque interior. 
a couple more blocks northeast of here will have us arriving at St. Michael's Church of Sopron. Situated at the top of the hill, this strategic place was once used as a lookout point. While you're here, be sure to check out its graveyard too, as you will find the craftsmanship on these monuments to be very intriguing. With all these experiences, I found Sopron to be one of the most pleasant places I've ever visited. Not only in Europe, but maybe even in the entire world. During my time here, I took in some amazing sights, learned all about the history, and yes, enjoyed the food with a bit of that Hungarian wine. Oh yeah, and they've got some pretty good beer too. For such a small area, this town is absolutely packed with an enormous amount to take in and plenty of things to see and do, making this a destination that I highly recommend adding to your European travel itinerary. All right, that's it. We tried the wines, we drank the beer, enjoyed the food, and learned all about the history. So until next time, we're out of here from Sopron, Hungary.